Hey, this is Daryl Eddard from TechCrunch. We're here at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show in Switzerland. It's been a pretty great show so far. Uh, there's plenty to see. Right behind me, we've got Renault's new EasyGo uh, concept vehicle, which is an autonomous urban transit vehicle that's meant to sit somewhere between like Uber and a bus. Uh, there's all kinds of crazy concepts here. Uh, Volkswagen released their latest ID line of car, and it's the Vision, and this one's more of a sports sedan. Uh, we've also got the first Polestar, the Polestar 1, here. It's the European debut, and they've also announced the pre-orders are going to kick off next week for that. That's a hybrid uh, from Volvo. It's their former race tune van, and now it's focusing on alternative energy vehicles. This is Porsche's new Mission E. It's the Turismo variant of the car, and as you can see, it's a bit more of a wagon. Uh, it's a crossover, is how they define it. And it's designed for people who want to be able to do stuff like take their skis to the mountain, but do it in style in an electric vehicle with amazing performance, including a 0 to 60 time of under 3.5 seconds. This is definitely going to be a competitor for Tesla's Model S, uh, and it will have similar range with around 300 miles on a single charge. The original version of this car, the Mission E, uh, the regular coupe will go on sale probably sometime in 2019, and then this one doesn't have a date for the crossover version, but I would expect it sometime after that, maybe 2020 or so. This is Volkswagen's new ID Vision concept. So this car is one we got an early peek at before the show. And it's a beautiful car. This one's the more aspirational concept with no steering wheel at all and no pedals. Uh, it's designed to be used fully autonomous, made level five autonomy. And passengers here will even be able to put on AR glasses uh, with technology based on Microsoft's HoloLens that would give them access to infotainment displays as well as uh, media playback. Uh, calling functions, you can do video calls right from in the car, and all that on the go. It's designed in the interim though to be able to be outfitted with a more traditional cockpit with steering wheels and pedals, and that'll be sometime after the debut of the ID line to production in 2019 that we see something like this. But then the full autonomy features, uh, Volkswagen says not to expect those until at least 2025 and probably more like the 2030 era. All right, so that's it for us from TechCrunch here at the 2018 Geneva Auto Show. I'm Daryl Etherington, and you can check out all of our coverage on TechCrunch.com. Lots of car stuff to read about there, flying cars, regular ground cars, all the cars, uh, and everything in between.